All right, guys. Name is Tyler, aka Nanogenics, and today, guys. Well, today is a bit of an interesting video, especially if you tuned into Rhymes' channel yesterday. But some moderately decent news. That's by the time you're watching this, probably a good 14, 15 hours old. But I still wanted to talk about it here on the channel because I thought I could turn it into a discussion video. We haven't actually done, or if we have done, it's been a bit. It's been a bit. But uh, is that in the news right now on Global, which Global is actually down right now? Uh, but in the news, uh, who will be the next LR character? It's up to you to decide. The legendary election will be starting soon. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just get this out of the way right now. I'm going to go ahead and attempt, not attempt, I'm going to go ahead and approach this as if it is literally us deciding on the next LR from brand new LRs that have not been in the game and not it saying there are three LRs on JP right now. You vote on which one you want to see first. Um, which I still, I, I'm, I've heard many murmurs that LR Gohan will be here Friday. I, I don't, I think someone said it was confirmed at the Dokkan Battle Live event. I don't know for sure. Um, I just read that somewhere on Twitter or something. So, anyways, uh, either way, guys, let's talk about some potential cards. And the reason why is that if this vote comes up, I'm going to tell you, because I, I, I know you guys will say, Nano, which one would you vote for? So, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some potential cards here. I built out a list that I would like to be like to see on this list and then rank them as to how I would vote. Uh, and then of course my number one, where my number one vote would go. So to start things off, I am gonna pull, I think two of these from, not well, actually three, because one's a big one. Uh, three of these basically from my, well, Rhymes list that I kind of tuned, kind of tuned in on. So uh, we'll start things off with probably, uh, still I wanna see all these happen, but probably my, my least favorite one that I would want to see of these uh, would probably be uh, the perfect cell. I would love to see a perfect cell LR card. I think they could do a really lot with that art. I think they could do a really lot with that card. I don't know how we're going to continue on. I don't know if we're because right now, right, we've got we've got uh, Broly, which is strength plus 90 to strength. We've got Gohan, which is plus 90 to intelligence. We've got uh, Mer not Merge I keep wanting to call them Merge Masu, but Rose and Zamasu, which is 90% to tech. And then we have Majin Vegeta, which is 90% AGL. So the only thing we're actually missing right now is the physical one. So I don't know what the plan is moving forward with these cards and how they will change. Will there be an LR that's then a 120 to uh, an entire type, not specific to super or to extreme? I don't know how they're going to do this. But uh, to start things off, though, I'm going to say Cell. So I don't really see Cell as a physical character. I know there is, of course, the SR Perfect Cell. Uh, but I still see him in my brain as a tech character. Of course, we already have a 90% lead for that. So I don't know how they're going to handle that. So I don't know where how to approach it as far as leader skill goes. Um, but I do see them doing something with him that is uh, maybe more in a sense of what they did with 17, but maybe just handled a little better. With Super 17, his passive is every time he gets attacked, he builds up more, more attack. Uh, and then he gets capped at 120. Probably should have more of a cap at like 150 or 180 because you are having to tank hits first before you can even get that boost. But to start things off, perfect sell. I can see him, like these are, by the way, these are not outlandish things by any means. These are absolute characters I could see on there. So if you're if you're like, Nano, you're missing a character, you're missing this specific character I would love to have seen on this list. I'm just trying to be as realistic as to what characters I could see specifically be on this actual list for us to vote, which will hopefully be here very soon. Uh, let's see, the next thing being... This one's a tough one for me because yeah, ordering these was really tough. And I think you guys can probably guess my number one. But uh, next would be Bardock. Um, I would love to see an SSJ Bardock LR card or even just a standard Bardock card with him like holding uh, just like holding an orb in his hand and just like standing there and like like just that, that bandana just kind of shining through and kind of animated and oh, it'd be freaking awesome. So um, and I can absolutely see them doing an LR Bardock card. Let's be let's be real right now. There are a crap ton of Bardock cards in this game. People love Bardock. Because uh, aesthetically, obviously, he looks like Goku. So if you don't even know anything about Dragon Ball, like hardly at all, you still recognize Bardock. And you're like, oh, that looks like that Goku dude, right? So there's a lot of recognition behind Bardock still yet, and a lot of love for that character too. Because just even the even the amount of just story they built into him that we've seen, uh, as compared to a lot of the other characters on the list, he's still he's such a fantastic and fan favorite character that I could easily see him getting the LR treatment. Uh, after that, I was going to say Golden Frieza. We talked about that yesterday as a free-to-play card. I don't, I don't want to, I don't really want to see Golden Frieza. I mean, again, this is an ironic video for me to make right now at the the current state of me on Dokkan, the current state of the channel. 
Uh, but it's news, and we need to talk about it. So uh, I can see Golden Frieza, though, absolutely being an LR card, and they could do some absolutely sick. I mean, absolutely sick stuff uh, with this card. Just, just the gold and just kind of the aurora around him could be absolutely incredible. And I could easily see you pulling him in his final form, uh, his just standard final form before he even goes golden, and he doesn't become golden until his LR state. Uh, and one of the things I'm not touching on are any duo characters in this, so I just want to go and throw that out there. I'm not touching on duo characters. I know that's very much so a thing. We have a free-to-play one, and now we also have Merge. See, I did it again. We now have Rose and Zamasu. Uh, but I didn't really want to type, tap into that quite yet, just because that we could we could be here for days talking about different duos in this game. Uh, but anyways, moving on. After Golden Frieza, my next probably most hype thing I would want to see would be a Future Trunks. Um, now, whether they did a Super Future Trunks or a more Trunks Saga Future Trunks, either from Dragon Ball Z, either one would work for me. But I definitely want them to utilize his actual Burning Strike. Uh, attack and not be a Masinko or one of his other other key blasts he has. I want to see an actual full-on um, LR treatment super attack with Trunks and his sword. I think that would be absolutely incredible. Again, I'm not giving types to these. I'm just, because I doubt they'll give us types, right? I'm sure it'll just literally say uh, Trunks, Goku, Vegeta, Perfect Cell, um, Rose. So I, I don't, so yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't necessarily want to give them types because I feel like that'll just be a waste of words because there's no, there's just, there's hardly any detecting what may end up being on this list, let alone detecting what type they'll end up being. So after that, again, this is me, this is me, like if these are on here, so, so far what we've mentioned before is actually on this list. You guys know for me right now, I'm going to choose future trunks, but moving forward, it's going to start getting harder and harder, but this would be probably how I would do it. Next for me uh would be on this particular list will be super vegeto and i think an lr super vegeto would be absolutely sick um we kind of talked about this in yesterday's video with a blue vegeto uh but i think some sort of mechanic would be really cool where you pull either a vegeta or a goku and then he doken awakens into his tur form that is standard vegeto and then he lrs into super vegeto and has this uh, chance um to defuse and and become not as powerful but then to also either get some sort of i don't know maybe maybe it is a standard vegeto card and at some point in time in the game he has an, an ability uh or some sort of chance to become super vegeto and then just does astronomical damage counters are insane counters are full damage full super tech damage and just all kinds of crazy crazy stuff but we'd love to see an lr super vegeto beyond that and some of you guys may be like, what? How? But I just really want to see this happen. And I know we already have a Majin Vegeta, but I want a Super Vegito. Vegito. I want a Super Vegeta in this game. Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Vegeta. Uh, preferably why I said Super Vegeta is because I'm really thinking of what they could do with him doing his final flash attack against Cell. I think that that would be one of the coolest card arts in the game. And I think that that is absolutely an untapped character. Uh, and I would love... In this game anyway right we have the agl one that's about to get dunk on awake and we have the sr one you can get from drops in the uh in that in the event that comes every weekend uh but we'd love to see that happen and that would for me anyways if i seen that on the list and it literally said super vegeta over super vegeto i would probably pick the super vegeta and again i know you're probably you're crazy nano but i really want to see something like that happen in this game for my number one spot you guys know i'm going to be voting for this if it happens uh, and I, I hope you guys too, especially after watching this video, and I think you would anyways, because we all want him in this game, is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Please, Bandai Namco, put him in this game already. Now, granted, this would, I don't feel like this will even be on the list. I just don't see that card coming out first as an LR and not first as an SSR. I just don't see it happening. I see them dropping him as an SSR, just like they have with the SSJ4 Vegeta and Goku characters as well as pretty much any other character in this game thus far, and then him getting a uh, LR treatment later on. Because I absolutely think we'll see an LR probably SSJ for Goku before this is all said and done, SSJ for Vegeta, SSJ for Gogeta, but I think first we're gonna get, uh, first we're gonna get SSJ for Gogeta as an SSR. But again, if this gets insane, and SSJ for Gogeta is on this list, you guys know your boy Nano is gonna be voting for him over everyone else, just to see him in the game, because that would be insane. Uh, as a bonus, and I don't know how it would feel if they put it on there because I think that they would knock this one out of the park, but we already have plenty of him. 
uh, as a bonus would be SSJ3 Goku. Um, I've not seen too many people talk about this, and maybe it's because we do have so many of that character, decent cards, right, of that character in the game, with some really fantastic card art. I love the strength one, I love the AGL one, and I especially love the tech one, uh, but I don't see too many people talk about an SSJ3 LR Goku, and I think that that would be something really cool. Um, I think the card art would be fantastic, and I would love to see that in this game, but that's my bonus. I, I, that's the one I'm just kind of like, I don't know how I feel about that one, because you already have so many good cards, so many good looking cards. Uh, in this game already for SSJ3 Goku, but he would be up there. He would, de I think he would be of this list of essentially at the end of this, what we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters. He would be within the top probably four for me, and it would become a struggle. And either way, like if you're telling me Super Vegito SSJ for Gogeta and Super Vegeta is on this list, I mean, I'm gonna struggle. Like, I'm gonna actually look at that list for a while and be like, what do I really want to vote right now? So, anyways, guys, we are getting to choose the next LR character on Global, which is going to be absolutely insane. And assuming it is brand new cards and not them just us deciding what gets ported over to Global first, that's going to be awesome because it means Global is going to get it first, which is fantastic. Exactly what we saw with the SSJ Legendary Super Saiyan at Broly. I about said SSJ3 Broly, and that's not what we saw at all. Anyways, guys, that is today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Otherwise, you guys have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on. Nanogenics here signing off, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.